Boom! Let's do it. <laughs> now, Frankie Capone, it's a good damn thing that Bruce Santee. Should I not have called him Frankie Capone? Should I have called him Frankie Kaiazzo? Should I call him Frankie Covernail? Should I call him Double yeah. Deuce? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember when he used to carry Matt Dolan's bags oh. around? You think it was Dylan? Yeah, or Marcus. Marcus Dylan, Whatever. a phenomenal athlete. Frankie Capone, listen, I've seen you hanging and banging in the gym, AKA. Ooh. Cracker Barrel. Whoop. A lot like a lot of Cracker Barrel. Doing 275 minutes of cardio. That's Coke Zero. This guy is an athlete. athlete. You can sit around and you can talk about hanging and banging. Bang you can it. talk about doing cardio. You can talk about tanning. You can talk about shaving your back because, my God, the guy's razor bill alone has to be $27. And you've got the <laughs> lucky, lucky benefit of wrestling him. Now, I don't like to use air quotes very often. I don't like to use the word hero very often. But these two words have absolutely no bearing on the kind of athlete that Frankie Capone is. Tell him, Hawk. Well, well, let's talk about this Frankie Capone, man. Obviously, we're now strangers to one another. Vintage Pro Wrestling. We are fighting. Not a champions for the Pro Wrestling Riot Professional Wrestling Championship of... The world. We see Frank Capone. We've been down that path before, man. We've headlined shows. Live We've headlined ladies. Division One Pro Wrestling in Miami, Florida. We've headlined Pro Wrestling Fusion up in Jacksonville, Florida. And hell, we've headlined the Dark Match pre-show McGillicuddy for Jeff Peterson Cup Memorial 2009. We've been everywhere together, Frank Capone. But here it is, man. Here it is, Orlando Vintage Pro Wrestling. The hundreds and hundreds, or possibly dozens and dozens of people tens, are gonna see tens. tens and tens are gonna see me do exactly what I've done every time we've been in the ring, and that is pin your shoulders to the mat. One, two, three. You can bring that little girl cannon with you. Better kick, cannon, right? right? Or you I can bring a dude. He was kicking like oh, okay. but let's not talk about the kick. Nope. Or we could bring Thump Dupree. Anybody remember Thump Dupree? No. How about Python? You mean like the snake? Yeah, that too. Oh, he like a girl. <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> or Sir Psycho Sexy. I don't know who that is. Me neither. But the fact is, Frankie Capone, Frankie Coverdale, you can pull your little gimmicks up. You can do whatever it is you want. But the fact is, man, when it comes down to it, Backshot. pro wrestling right, heavyweight title, it's coming home to me. Big dump, one, two, three. I do what I do best, and that is defend belts all over the state. This will be no different, son. See you on the 22nd. Jacksonville. Florida, Orlando, Florida, Charlotte. Charlotte, Atlanta, whatever the city is, you should be thankful you're stepping in the ring with that animal. And I know we probably should have stopped this. And thanks to our guy over here who's doing the shrugs, truth be told, Frankie Capone, Uptown Frankie Cayazzo, Frankie Coverdale, whatever you're calling yourself, the moment you step in the ring with the marquee Bruce Santee, you're going to guarantee yourself things three times. Number one, you're going to get clobbered. Number two, hey man, you're probably going to get a busted eye. And number three, you're going to be walking up to Bruce going, bro, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I tried to get up, but I couldn't do it. Bottom line is this, Frankie Kayatsu, Uptown Frankie Capone, whatever you got yourself calling yourself, whatever you got yourself believing, the chance of you beating Bruce Santee at finish is about like this. Frankie, we'll see you around.